Another demonstration of buoyancy is going to involve this tank of water, which has some dry ice or solid carbon dioxide, which is very cold at the bottom, and we're seeing bubbles of carbon dioxide uh, bubble up through that uh, water as the carbon dioxide uh, evaporates below the surface. Those bubbles come up and form a cloud of carbon dioxide here. And what does this have to do with buoyancy? Well, it turns out that this cloud of carbon dioxide is relatively dense. It's heavier mass per unit volume than uh, the surrounding air. So you see the carbon dioxide hangs down as low to the ground as it can get. And even when it flows over the edges, it tends to flow down and around this. So the carbon dioxide can't even be buoyed up in the air because the air has a density uh, such that uh, is a little bit less than the carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide has a greater density than air. Another way to demonstrate that is with some little soap bubbles here. Now, as I blow soap bubbles here, we're going to watch those bubbles go out over that cloud of carbon dioxide and watch what they do. They pop. <laughs> But in some cases, as you see there, they float on the cloud of carbon dioxide because the soap bubbles being made of air have a density less than the density of the carbon dioxide gas that you see uh, uh, condensing out there over the surface of that water. Bubbles floating on top of a cloud of carbon dioxide. Bubbles have a lower density. Carbon dioxide has a higher density. Buoyancy and Archimedes principle.